reinforcements have arrived. All right, guys. Ladybugs. You see them crawling? You see them living? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. So what I did was I came out last night and I um, watered the plants and I sprayed them. And I have a spray bottle here. Give them a little water every now and then if you can. The ladybugs will hang out. They like drinking water. They're, they are shipped and as soon as they get out of that container, they're looking for water and food. Uh-oh, no. Be careful spraying though. They'll kind of scatter on you a little bit. Or maybe just spray part of the plant. But uh, yeah, how to treat for aphids 101. Um, we only seen a few aphids, so these little flies, I don't know what they do, but um, and there's different flies and wasps that will actually eat the aphids also. We haven't seen wasps yet this year, but there's a little, a little traveler. He just, he went away on me, but spray down in that middle of that plant. Uh, another thing you can do if you see right here, I have a bottle cap with some water in it. So every couple of plants, I'll actually put them around. White night, look how crazy. There's another one there. Look at They're crawling all over the place. So yeah, last night I, I sprayed these plants down with some water. I watered them so I wouldn't have to water them today and disturb, you know, I don't want to scare the, the um, ladybugs off. But um, yeah, most of the plants still have ladybugs on them. See that? Yeah. Yeah, they're hanging out from last night and uh, they probably there probably was a few aphids. I know there's fungus gnats, and it's debatable whether they eat fungus gnats or not. I know that fungus gnats move pretty quick, but uh, there's there is fungus gnats that crawl along the soil and crawl along the stems. So these ladybugs, if they do in fact eat um, fungus gnats, then these ladybugs have more than enough food. Um, if there's fungus gnat larva, they will definitely eat that. And then whatever little aphids. So i seen aphids on a couple of plants. That it was not yet an infestation. They were just there. I'm checking the leaves early. Last year i seen none. So, um, and the year before, the only thing i seen them on was my basil. So I think I'm going to get me a basil plant. And it just came from the store. I should have bought one. I forgot. But, yeah, you can see they're they're happy. They are happy. They're they're going around, and uh, they're gonna get that. They're gonna drink some of that water that I sprayed, and they're gonna eat some aphids. See, there's a fungus gnat there. You guys see that little bastard? Yeah, they don't bother me. Uh, they didn't. I didn't see, but like two or three in the house this year. Um, the fungus gnats were not bad. Last year they were terrible. But yeah, you see the the little buggers. Let's see if there's. And he's still, oh, there's one right there, yeah. Yeah, they're still here. Now, some of them will fly away. I know I did see some earlier that were crawling around the, uh, the edge of the containers, like that one. Like him, yeah. And so you will see some that'll, that, I mean, they'll, they'll escape. You're not gonna keep all of them in your uh, garden. The thing is, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get them to, to hang out and when they first come out of that package, um, you, you want them to, they're gonna go for, they're gonna look, first thing they're gonna look for is water. As soon as they're done getting their fill of water, they're looking for food. And if you do this right before it gets dark out, um, they say that they, they, they kind of hang out where they, where they are. So, I'm sure that we'll see ladybugs, but you know, most of them will, will migrate away, but not all. You'll get some that'll hang out and um, possibly breed. And then maybe you'll have another round of ladybugs coming in. And so this is the perfect thing for um, fighting aphid it's, if it infestations outside. Um, I noticed that indoors, of course, you're not gonna wanna have ladybugs <clears throat> in your house. So uh, the best thing for indoors is aphid lions that is the the green lace wing uh, larva and when i brought plants in last year i brought aphids in didn't notice them until two months after the plants were in there 
man, they just, they destroyed all the flowers on those plants. It was, it was a stupid move on my part. Um, but anyways, Mrs. Bull Cow's rare exotic plants that are worth a lot of money ended up getting aphids. So Uncle Bull Cow had to spend a lot of money on aphid lions. But guess what? She had a terrarium. There was aphids all in it. We bought a couple, well, like four, five rounds of aphid lions. And uh, eventually, it completely they completely eradicated all aphids and all signs of aphids in the house, period. So... Green lacewing larvae work great for indoors. Outdoors, they do work for outdoors also. Um, you can buy the little strips from Nature's Good Guys, same same company I get these from. You can uh, take the little strips and hang them on a limb, and when they hatch, they'll walk up and down you know that plant, and 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 they will eat the aphids. Uh, the only thing is that I've heard testimonies from people that the ants will go after the eggs of the green lace wings. <clears throat> and also uh, hornets, well, and uh, uh, maybe wasps. So now, the only thing about that is if the wasps go after it, the wasp might, that might keep the wasp near your plants, and they might end up eating aphids and aphid lion eggs. So I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just, just testimonies that I've heard. So I think for outdoor aphid control, your best bet and early prevention and even if you have a mild infestation um, your best bet is ladybugs and these babies uh, you'll start seeing less of them um, tomorrow morning when I come out you know I'll probably see a few less and then uh, actually what I, do, I will do is I'll put some more out tonight and then I have some other plants um, outside my office and those actually one plant I actually found about eight aphids on it uh, which is not an infestation. Well, it's the beginning of one. And I squished a bunch of them and sprayed them down. And um, So with those, I will I, those will get ladybugs tomorrow. Um, and these will get another round tonight of ladybugs. So early prevention and treatment for aphids would be ladybugs outside green lacewing larva aka aphid lions indoors um and another thing is is uh if you get to where you get a bad infestation now if you have plants that are in a solo cup um you can just do the old uh, dish soap or, or murphy's oil soap is what i what i prefer but you can you can dunk the plant in that um the warm dish water um soap water and take it out and uh, leave it like that and uh, it, it pretty much will take care of the aphids and um, I seen a video matter of fact the other day where uh, it was um, the mighty mustache Bobby D did it and so and he had I mean he had an infestation they were indoor plants and stuff but just simple dunk um, and if you can't dunk if you have something like this get yourself a spray bottle like this you mix up a little uh, one teaspoon of Murphy's oil soap. Some people say go with a tablespoon. I say go with a teaspoon. Murphy's oil soap in a gallon jug. Just use a vinegar bottle and um, water, warm water. Shake it up real good. Fill up a spray bottle like this. Put it on mist like that. It's got it's got a nice hard mist to it. Um, and what that'll do is that will. Yeah, see, this is just water. I'm just spraying. I'm just making the. Some of the ladybugs are scared, but. They're, they're not going to go away. They're just going to go into the plant, which is fine. But, yeah, if you try to keep keep, keep them a little moist, um, the ladybugs will hang out for longer. They won't go crawling away or flying away looking for water. So, yeah. And what, you, what I'm basically doing here is they're eating whatever. What's up? They're eating whatever aphids are on the plants right now. There's some action going on there. Yeah, they're crawling all over. Uh, they're They're eating the aphids that are... Uh, on the plants right now and I'm also creating an ecosystem here you know a little little mini ecosystem so what I'm doing I'm introducing you know more ladybugs I got 750 total so out front in this little area with what I release and what I'll release tonight will probably be about 400 um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm just creating a, a culture <laughs> you know I'm gonna create a, a culture an area where there is more ladybugs, where there's a, a good population of them. And many of them will fly away or crawl away, 
but being that I have like these bushes over here they need to be trimmed by the way but um, this is great I mean you, you got to figure that um, you'll get ladybugs that'll crawl into these bushes and they'll crawl around and guess what they'll do they'll eat aphids that are also crawling through this bush trying to find new growth and stuff like that sometimes you guys can see there, there's none now these are these these plants don't don't get them too bad but sometimes you can just take a the end of a new where there's new growth on any just any plant that's in the wild and you can open it up and you can see aphids there so a plant like this isn't going to get hurt from them you know it's a tree it's a shrub but um but either way yeah there will be aphids in that bush and so you'll get ladybugs that'll go in there they'll eat a little bit they'll come out looking for water or looking for something else and guess where they'll come they'll come back on my plants that i just watered a dry day nothing else got water uh, they can smell it they can sense it and there's one there crawling under the leaves right now yeah i haven't seen a i haven't seen any aphids what's that i don't know what that is that was just a piece of dust or something but i, I, I guess, oh look at that baby doing his job look at him I heard they also eat the eggs too so uh, while you don't see any aphids here I would guarantee you that there's aphid eggs on these plants there is absolutely no question in my mind so if these eat the eggs we're 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 we're, we're, we're getting a, hitting a grand slam today then so that's it uh, aphid treatment 101 um, I will put over there in that shady corner I will put a basil plant and this is literally just from on, on accident. I had plants growing out back in 2020. The um, pepper plants were, was it 20? Yeah, it was 2020. The pepper plants were untouched by aphids completely. The basil plant was loaded with them. And so I was just eureka moment. I was like, holy cow. This is awesome. I'm like, now I know how to prevent, you know, aphids. I just put basil and then it'll attract them and they'll stay away from my pepper plants. And, um, and which people have seen, if you have pepper plants and tomatoes, they won't go after tomato plants most of the time. You have to pepper plants and so on and so forth. But if you don't have the pepper plants or basil, then they go after the tomato. It's crazy how that works. But, um, but yeah, so early preventive treatment. I've heard planting marigolds or flowers around especially yellow flowers are good because it draws in um the wasps and the bees and uh it also uh i think for some reason i think they say that the aphids go to those and so yeah but how to treat for aphids 101